Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the ones, the Apostle Great Millstone, and citates for you brothers pushing the word and truth and the sincerity, all right? I just want to get into a quick scripture of the day, all right? Basically, because Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Yahweh Shai is that bread of life, all right? And we're coming into those times where um, it's going to be very uh, perilous times out here, you know? And first and foremost, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites according to the Bible, all right? And a lot of people out here is living in the flesh. They're living their desires, you know? As the scriptures say, uh, she that liveth in pleasure as she liveth uh, is dead while she liveth, you know? But that's majority of our people. They out here living um, in their pleasures, man, in their flesh, all right? But... We should, we that know this truth, all right, we should desire what? The spiritual food, man, which is this word, all right, that's, that's going to help you to grow in the faith, all right, that's going to maintain you, be your knowledge, wisdom, understanding, should be the stability of thy times, okay? This is uh, the bread and, and the drink that we need to be eating and drinking, man, all right? So I'm going to get straight to it, you know, and hopefully the lesson is edifying. And this is Sirach, uh chapter 24, verse 21. It says, they that eat me shall yet be hungry, and they that drink me shall yet be thirsty. All right? He that obey of me shall never be confounded, and they that work by me shall not do amiss. All right? And that's your, and but Yahweh Shai, all right, though. Now, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Shalakia. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book. He says, written of me. Psalms 40 and 7. Okay? Now, the bread that, uh, that Yahweh Bashim Al-Washah was talking about, or the scripture is talking about, is the, is the, is the word, man. All right? I'm going to get a precept because Yahweh Shah said it himself. All right? Now, the, uh, back and this is John, the sixth chapter. All right? Uh, I started uh, at 30. All right? Matter of fact, I jumped to 20, I'll start at 27. Okay. It says, uh, John 6 and 27. It says, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. So, yeah, brothers have jobs. Brothers do what they got to do. Daily bread, you know. The Lord said, By the sweat of thy brow, you should live out thy days, so you got to work. Okay. But we're not looking to get rich on this side, man. Okay. Brothers do what they got to do, but hey, but the one, but the brothers in the know, we, majority, hey, the truth is your first priority, man. All right, your time, energy, and meditation is about these scriptures, man. Walking these scriptures, living it, you know. Not just talking it, but actually walking it. All right, understanding what you're reading. This is what you're, this is the true labor that's gonna pay off. All right, because right now we're putting everything in the spiritual bank account, and during the uh, the, the trials that we're going through. All right, carrying our cross, okay, laboring this truth, all right? It says, uh, labor not for the meat which perisheth. Why? Because everything you see is temporal, all right? This world is going to pass away, okay? It says, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. And that's talking about the scriptures, man. Doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, prophesying the word, warning the people, okay? Teaching your brethren, you know? It says, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him have the Most High, Yahweh, which the Heavenly Father name, the Father sealed. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father name, and Yahweh Shai is our King, man, our Lord, our Savior. All right? It says, then said they unto him, what shall we do that we might work the work to the Most High? So they asked the question. This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he have sent. So you have to believe this word, man. Because this word is the true account. This, these scriptures, I'm going to get the, uh, get the precept real quick. Because these scriptures is the account which the Heavenly Father gave of His Son. All right? And you must uh, dwell in His word. Okay? And constantly, hey, wash yourself with the washing of the word. You know? Salakia, so like brothers. Salakia. So like this is... Uh,
This is uh This is uh Khan because this is the record that Yahweh the Heavenly Father gave of his son, his only begotten son. And this is, I'm gonna get straight to the point. It says first John five and eleven. And this is the record that the most high have given to us eternal life, and this life is in his son. Alright? So Hey, we have to, hey, you got to believe in this word, man. You got to eat this roll, like the scriptures say, eat this roll, and go out and teach, man, and believe in what you're doing, okay? But back to John 6, and uh, I started at 29. Yeah, how was I? It's, I'm starting at 28 again. Then said they unto him, what shall we do that we might work the works of the Most High? Yeah, how was I answering and said unto them, this is the work of the Most High, that you believe on him whom he have sent. So you have to believe on Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Which that's not his name. Alright? His name, the only big, the, the heavenly father name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shai. Alright? There's no other name whereby under given under heaven whereby you should be saved, man. And I'm just getting the uh, precept real quick. Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right, so you have to call on those names. All right, and we say Yahweh, Baha Shem, and which Ba in Ha the Shem name, Yahweh Shai. We say the Heavenly Father, the name of Yahweh Shai, his only begotten Son. All right, that we will be saved, man. We have to believe that. We believe that, and you have to believe that, man. All right. It says, verse 29, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on whom, him whom he have sent. So you have to believe the record that Yahweh bought him, that, that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gave of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh, they said, therefore, unto him, What sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. Yes, the Lord did have them physically eat manna. Okay. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, verily, which means truly, truly, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father gave you the true bread from heaven, and he was speaking of himself. All right, we just started the script, the, uh, we started this lesson off by reading uh, Sirach 24 and 21, where it said, They that eat me shall yet be hungry, and they that drink me shall yet be thirsty. It's talking about this worry, man, and doing the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You should never go amiss, do a miss. All right? You should never fail. It says, back verse back in St. John 6 and 33, For the bread of the Most High is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. And what world is that? The world of Israel, man. Because the Lord came only for Israel. And that's starting with the elect. All right? But eventually all Israel will be saved, you know, through the kingdom. But right now the Lord only looking for the elect, man. Okay? It says, For the bread... Of the Most High, as he was coming down from heaven and give of life unto the world, Israel. Then said they unto him, Yahweh Shai, evermore give us this bread. It's the point. Verse 35. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth for me shall never thirst. All right? And that's the point. You do, if you believe in Yahweh Shai, and you do the work, and you walk in faith, which you're going to be saved by our faith, okay? The just shall walk by faith, all right? You're not going to be hungry. You're not going to thirst, man. You're going to understand what's going on. You're going to be contempt in the, sp uh, in the spirit. All right? And you're going to have that faith that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to deliver you from these hard times that's coming. And that's what it's all about, man. Doing the work now, man. Warning the people, doing the work of the Most High so we can cash out that spiritual bank account when these hard times come in Jacob's trouble. The mark of the beast is already here, which is an RFID chip. All right? So if you do the work of the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you should never hunger and you should never thirst. This is the bread that you need to be laboring for, man. Pushing this work. Dwelling with the word. All right? Getting more understanding. Praying. Okay? So that's the point. Do the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and you should never do a miss. So with that, I want to say Shalom.